this is the second tutorial on uh, textures in Blender and uh, we want to go to normal or bump maps. So what we have in our uh, setup here is if we can we can uh, go and make a little brighter So it's a nice adjusted uh, photo to our uh, mesh, but uh, it's flat. So there's no structure, just the colors and no structure. So structurally, it uh, behaves like a plain polished uh, surface. And uh, this can be improved by uh, qualifying uh, the the, the, the responsiveness of each pixel towards light. So see what is missing, for example, by um, switching this point here to sunlight, um, 0.5, like, um, 0.5 like always, and then for strange reasons, um, Normal lights have 100 times more intention, less intention than the sun in numbers. So now we have similar things. And now if we go for the sun and uh, put it, for example, 45, then it's uh, from, from the side. And you see that uh, now if I rotate the sun around this object, it's simply not affecting the surface, just getting brighter or uh, darker, nothing else, and as the whole thing, and it behaves like a plain colored uh, surface. So, what we can do is, uh, and doing is relatively simple, conceptually it's very interesting. So I created a new directory, there is our material again, and open that with uh, Photoshop. There's other tools available free on internet. So that's our picture here. And there is a 3D filter, and which means great bump on normal maps. I don't know exactly what the difference is. It's always the same. We qualify the structure, uh, we, we structurize a, a picture. So now we generate that. And this is the result. We get. Uh, kind of uh, uh, structured surface. You say we can change it here a little. So, but this is what we have and we always have, is we have RGB, this is an RGB picture and the first layer is the re reactiveness on, um, on the pixels towards uh, the horizontal line, so then the reactiveness to the vertical and the reactiveness to the uh, uh, normal of that. And they bring uh, this RGB picture. And these are not the colors, but the uh, orientation in space of each pixel. By that, color and reflection or uh, for example, the roughness and so on can be uh, can be uh, uh, controlled by pixel by pixel. So save that in our directory. Fifty one. Call it uh, n for normal. Uh, leave Photoshop, and here we have our these both things and in pixel should be in sync. Now go here and uh, we have to go for our note editor and look for our shader. The base color, so the quality of the color of a pixel is driven by this UV mapped image. And now we need another uh, texture and uh, simply a text here as well. A text image texture open and go for the 
uh, normal. So we can look at up here, we, we take this one. Now it's very important that you don't take color, but it's a non-color data because these are not colors but orientations of pixels. So, and uh, this needs another color here, so we uh, have to convert it. So yellow and blue doesn't fit mix. Uh, crazy things, so we have to convert that. In this case we need uh, the normal map, and the normal map tr translates yellow to blue. So go here, go here with the map, and here you see what happens. The things starts, each pixel starts to react to light in a, in a uh, individual way. So strengthen it, and you see this is a flat thing, and this is a very rough thing. And to illustrate what happens now, go for uh, for the sun, and it's like on the moon. If we move now to the other side, you see the shadows and the lights are moving around the pixels. So. That's it. Okay, now go and make a reasonable structure. And here we are. So, now it's a little glossy. So go here, bring that down, bring the roughness up. Now it's a much better wood than without. That's flat. That's a nice wood. So and the astonishing now is that this is contextualized. So which means we have a picture which is able to talk to the environment. So it depends it, its its expression, so it's able to express itself in its environment. So look at this. Uh, the word now, so currently we have this, this light here, put it off. So now we have the word, preview, go here for the word. This is our note and give that an uh, environmental texture. Have that here. Now we have a missing picture. Open that and uh, we have the skies here. Go for the monk forest for example. We put that in the forest, put that strength 3 and now this wood is in the forest. So that's interesting now. So it somehow reflects its environment. It's getting greenish, it's getting diffused with the shadows and so on. And uh, it's talking to its environment. So, and it's most interesting if you get another environment. For example, this industrial hall. You see, now the wood is completely different in color, in structure, in shade and so on. And that's beautiful. <laughs> this is what comes with the ray tracer. So that pictures and things talk to each other and the ray tracer bursts these quantums of light which are collecting all these communication and bring that back uh, to a, a certain uh, picture. So look at how it works. It's different and you don't have to care about that. It's simply talking to it. all these elements these pictured elements of uh, your environment, they talk to each other. And I find that stunning. <laughs> it's a quantum and it's uh, a technique that pictures can talk explicitly. Okay, that's the technique. It's a little tricky with all these uh, uh, different levels, but I think it's one precise walkthrough and people 
from Blender made it pretty simple uh, to do and to manage that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. I forgot. Go, for example, to polygon.com to get a nice free uh, uh, textures. For example, this uh, concrete wall. And uh, here you see what we have. It's a uh, diffusion variation. This is always a color. Variation 2. So then the displacement, gloss, normals, reflection. So, uh, so we discuss the normals and we have uh, this uh, diffusion. So the color and then the structure. And then there's a special one for gloss, but all this is not uh, super important. So the, mo the most important thing is just uh, the color and then the orientation of the pixel. And this is called the normals. So you can download it for free and there's tons of other things here uh, and then you have to sign up and get member or something. And there are other things on internet. But I think for you as an architect would be would be a proper gesture and attitude just to have your own library of your own materials. Otherwise it's getting super sterile. And these things are like uh, all these super marketing, clean and clean marketing pictures of happy families and so on. So make your stuff and your materials and your style. And you've seen with Photoshop, it's super simple to do that. Take your library, then uh, you can uh, develop your style. So thanks for watching. Now it's definitely done.